Hi guys, Kath uh, this is Catherine here. Today I'm just going to uh, show you how I print off, uh, how I make these barbell stickers. Um, so these are great for uh, using as labels or price tags. You just wrap them around the chain part of a necklace or a ring. You can write on the back the prices with a pen and put your logo on the front. So. Um, I'm just going to show you step by step how I make these. So the first step is <clears throat> so to place some paper into your printer. So this is A4 size brown craft sticker paper. And I'm printing with this is an Epson C88 plus. I have it connected to a continual flow ink system with pigment ink. That's important because uh, dye ink will smudge and bleed if it gets wet. So <clears throat> make sure that you're using pigment ink. I have to special order that. Um, so here's the file. But how it's set up is that there's the pink is the cut file and the black dots are the logo and you can see it all aligns. I have the cross here which is for the ali laser alignment with the cutting machine and then these little rectangles here <clears throat> are for the cut alignment because I find I have to align it each time. So the first step is turn off the cut file so then we're just left with the print file then I'm going to send this to my printer. Anyways, uh, so selecting Epson and then best and then print. So now we just wait for this to print. And it's a slow process because you want to choose a high quality print because it will show, um, it will have, uh, give you the best results. So here we have the document printed. So that's what it looks like with the logos and the print alignment. So now the next step is to, today we're going to laminate it. You don't need to, but with this one I'm doing a cold laminate to just make it stronger. So what I do is I buy these um, laminate sheets. They measure A4 and then as you just saw me do, I just perforate the top and I do that just to make it easier to work with. So then I peel this off and that gives me a little um, lip to work with. And then I want to make sure one's on top of the other and then I just stick it see how there's a bit of an overhang it sticks a little bit to the brown craft and a little bit of an overhang and then I just grab a piece of paper just a scrap piece of paper and then I stick it onto here just to reinforce it <clears throat> then I Fold that over, to peel away at the plastic, and then I just fold it up a little bit so that it sticks to the brown craft. So you can see it's just a little bit along the edge. Make sure there's no air bubbles or else it won't work. And then I take my laminator. So this is a cold, 
hot laminator and I have it set to temperature zero so it's cold and then I send it through the laminator And then I'm just going to push that out of the way. And then now I'm going to remove the paper that was just there to give um, the laminator something to hold on to. So now the next step is to put it onto your sticky mat. Well, mine's not sticky because I don't like it sticky. It makes a mess out of the paper, so I unstickied it. So then I just use some not so sticky washi tape either just to hold down the corners. I just used cheap stuff from the dollar store because don't don't need to buy anything fancy. So now we're bringing it over to my cutting machine. So this is the Cut OK. It does not cut OK. Don't buy it. <laughs> it's horrible. And this black is just to muffle the sound. I put some insulation inside just because it's a really loud machine. So now we're going to do the laser alignment. So start a line. And then you just line up. Then you just line up the cross and the bar. When it looks okay, push up the little lever in the back. And I pushed a line to stop it. I'm putting it on the slowest speed and the lightest pressure. And now I'm going to come back over to my computer, select the cut file, turn off the print file, and it's already set up to the correct um, cutting width. So I have it set to 0 0.03 points. So now, and the software I'm using is Adobe Illustrator. Um, I like it just because it's uh, what I use most of the time, uh, just for in general. I just like working with the Adobe Suite. So now I'm going to send to my cutting machine. So and push print, and it sends right away. So I'm going to stop it. So I pushed the start pause button and it's hard to see but see this is why I use the squares because each time I send it to the printer the alignments a, a little bit off even if I do the laser alignment so this gives me a second chance to align it so oops push the wrong button uh, so I'm just going to I just moved it up a little bit So now I'm happy with the alignment. I'm going to increase the speed. I put it on three. So it's not so fast because I find if it's too fast, um, the machine starts to get kind of weird after a while. So now uh, we just wait for the machine to cut.
So it's all done. So I'm going to lower the support lever, take out the sticker paper, I'm going to remove the washi tape. And now I'm going to, I guess you could call it, uh, I'll be weeding the plastic. So I'm just having a hard time grabbing it. It's usually not that difficult, but so here, I'm just going to peel away the top layer from the yellow layer, the paper. So the reason I do that is so it's easy to grab the stickers. And now I'm going to remove the guides so they don't get in the way. And as you can see, it's a nice cut. It's not too deep. It doesn't cut into the paper and the stickers are easy to remove. So you just have to eyeball the needle with the cut okay. Um, I usually recommend just doing a couple test prints. So here you can see the alignment. It worked out pretty well. Actually it worked out perfectly. Sometimes if the um, after a few passes the alignment starts to shift. So what you do is you go back to the computer and then you just move the print files and print. So the next step is Uh, well, you're basically done. If you're just using these at home, then you can just put these into file and store them for when you need to price your jewelry. So you can just place those over the back and then align it. And there you go. And then you have a really simple label for your jewelry. So I get my material, the paper from AliExpress. Um, so it costs about, I pay about $125 for 500 sheets of the Brown Craft. And the price is around the same for the laminate stickers. So, 500 sheets will uh, last a really long time and um, it takes, the only problem is with ordering from AliExpress is it takes a month to arrive. So you really have to plan ahead and make sure you order before you run out because especially around the holidays, there can be an extra one or two weeks delay. And I order my ink off of eBay and I, uh, I, I purchased the Cut OK machine off of AliExpress. I paid around $300 because that includes the shipping. And I also got uh, this laminator from AliExpress and I think I paid around $400. Um, so this, we just use cold laminate. So the laminate sheets are special for cold laminate. And as you can see on here, that's the hot laminate. It has adhesive on it and it's thinner. I just use it on like heavy cardstock, but for stickers, um, the heat tends to make the stickers curl. So I use a cold laminate and it's a lot thicker and it looks nice. So if you've watched this far and you enjoyed the, uh, the, the video, uh, make sure to subscribe and leave any questions or comments uh, below. I'll make sure to get back to you. And um, I'll be putting content out every week, so make sure to uh, hit the, the, the little bell too so you'll be notified. And uh, well, thanks for watching.